Hey guys, this is Chris again. Come at you with another video. Quick wristwatch check, by the way. I'm still wearing that Borealis Ellipso. Still digging that piece. It's gonna be a hard one to sit back. But um, today's video is something a little different. Now, just for a little transparency, as you guys know, I've always been transparent in my videos. The company did reach out to me and they sent this watch in for free, so take that as you will. That still means I will give my honest opinion, honest review on it. And the company in question is the Sharp Brothers, the Seven Sins watch, which is definitely something different. And a lot of people might not be able to get over that name. That's, that's kind of something like a love it or hate it kind of name on the watch. But once you see the watch, it's actually a decent quality watch. And they, they made a really good quality product, I feel like. And the price point, I feel like, is a little bit high. They, they did offer a discount code for my viewers. I believe 15% off if you use the code The Watch Lounge on their uh, site, areusharp.com. But like I said, once we go to the desktop and you see the watch, you'll see what it looks like, see the uh, materials they use to make it and everything like that. Like I said, you can decide for yourself whether you like the name or not. Not something I would normally, I mean, go for myself. Not not really my style, but the, the, it is, like I said, it is a clean watch. And definitely something worth looking at. Just just like I said, like with the Frank Mueller I just did, you know, and I like to show you guys a little bit of everything. But um, we'll go to the watch in question here. Here's the watch in question. The box. Nothing too crazy. I think mine just got a little damage in shipping, but I don't think they'll all come like that. But um, here's their logo there. The company logo, Sharp Brothers. Embrace or rebel against seven sins. Here's their Instagram info and their Facebook info. Just to find where they're at, just to show you what it is. Came with a decent little travel case here. Pretty nice little travel case. Definitely use that. Like I said, here's Sharp Brothers, the company logo. Like I said, this is definitely kind of a divisive watch. It's kind of either a love it or a hate it name. It's definitely different. Uh, if you guys know Aaron Dunlap, his channel, he just did a review on this one. This one is 42 millimeter lugs, 22 millimeter, or 22 millimeter lugs, excuse me guys, 42 millimeter case diameter sapphire crystal. And on their website, I believe they just updated their website. They didn't have it on there before, but they do have it on there now. It is a NH35 movement, and this is $365. But if you use the code, the watch lounge, I believe it gets you 15, 20% off. And that will get it down to around 320 300 which I feel like is a decent price for this watch. This watch kind of reminds me of my Orient uh, Ray Raven 2 that I used to have, the PVD version. If you look back at my old reviews, you'll see it there. The bracelet is a little little jangly, as some, some people say. It's not a bad bracelet at all. It's got that 120 click unidirectional bezel. Bezel plate is actually fairly solid. It's got that Seiko loom, of course, you know, the A35 loom. And of course, more of the original design there. It's got the knife there. It's got the seven sins. It's a red and black, which is a red and black combo I feel like works really well. Even though, you know, I'm a Clemson fan, I'm not, not a big red and black fan because, you know, you know what team we play. That's our rivals. <laughs> but, uh, just joking, guys. But, um, it does have something kind of unique on the date window, which the date window is actually over here on the 9 o'clock, which you don't see a lot of, on a lot of watches kind of cool design and then the date window switches between you know all the different seven sins and you know green gluttony all that yeah you guys know all those and then it's got the knife right here pointing down and it's got the red second hand pretty cool design clean indices it is a like i said 300 meter water resistant like i said for right around 300 dollars it's not too bad if you want something kind of original something something kind of a uh like like they they say on their watch rebel against something kind of unique something kind of different from every other micro brand that you see out there and you just want something kind of like i said something kind of different definitely go for this one like i said that honestly this is not normally my style not nothing against it it's just nothing i would honestly go for but they sent it out, they reached out to me, so I figured I'd look at it, take a look at it, and let you guys know what I think about it. Like I said, I like to show every kind of different watch. Take that as you will. Just want to give my honest opinion, but like I said, overall, the quality on this is really, really good. Past the name and everything like that. 
it's it's a really good quality watch like i said it's it's decently made and you can tell the thought that went into it and not just some cobbled up together watch and it does come they sent the stickers pretty cool little sticker with a knife there you got the rose i believe one of the owners steven i believe that i've been talking to is a graphic artist i believe so that's where they get some of the inspiration for the watch and it does come, I've worn this on some other watches, I hadn't put it on this one yet, but I probably will wear it on this one, this red and black NATO, pretty comfortable NATO, like I said, I've worn it on some other, some other watches, my Seikos and stuff like that I've worn it on, but I will definitely probably switch this out, the bracelet, I, I do need to resize the bracelet, speaking of which, another thing it came with, sizing tools, which is pretty cool, you can resize the bracelet with that. Something not a lot of watch companies offer. So it's something kind of unique. And it does have their own logo there. The glass is pretty decent. But like I said, this is uh, what it looks like I must have to have this wrist. I'm definitely going to have to uh, take some links out. But overall, you get the fit and feel, the finish on it. Right here, like I said, it kind of wears similar to uh, Seiko SKX. Something along those lines. Or Orient Ray, to, Ray Raven 2. Some along those lines. Like I said, definitely quality wise, I can definitely see this is probably a little step above the Orient Ray Raven, but it is also a little more expensive. But like I said, if you want something kind of different and unique from all the other micro brands out there, this is definitely a unique design. And dare I say, I'm already going to get demonetized before I even get monetized. Ballsy <laughs> to name a watch go for this one but anyways guys this has been chris with a seven sins by sharp brothers watch for you let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you haven't already liked subscribe comment down below all right peace